You've probably heard about FIRST Robotics. It's that thing where high schoolers build robots to pick stuff up and put it other places. And sometimes they shoot things. Well, we're Chips324, a FIRST Robotics team, and this year we competed in the FRC Reefscape Challenge. It was a long and arduous journey, but without further ado, here's how the last ranked robot in the division ended up beating one of the best teams in the world and advancing to the world semifinals. In Reefscape, this year's challenge, the goal is to score pieces of coral and algae on the reef, processor, and in the barge. There's also a cage at the center of the field that robots hang off of at the end of each match. Robots face off against each other in 3v3 alliances, and in each match you earn ranking points based on winning and various other things you can accomplish during a match, like Auton, hanging, or scoring a certain amount of coral. These ranking points then determine your placement and who chooses alliances for the semifinals and finals. Chips' robot is named Battle, as in Battle Chip. Get it? It uses a set of rollers to grab coral from the ground. This ground intake is then attached to a lift with a forebar and wrist, which allows the intake to rotate and dunk the coral at any level of the reef. It can also intake algae sometimes, but we'll get to that later. Battle also has a hanging mechanism, which is fairly reliable. Now. And it has a ground intake algae mechanism that more often serves as a counterweight, since processor scoring isn't really effective at world's level of play. Anyways, enough about the robot. Let's get into the competition. We loaded in on Wednesday the 16th, and everything went smoothly, but the day was cut with a bit of unfortunate news. The match schedule came out, and upon checking Statbotics, we discovered that we quite literally had the hardest match schedule in the division. We knew that the next few days would be a hard-fought battle, get it, but we pressed on. We came in the next day, ready for the qualification matches. However, Qual 1 went literally as bad as it could have. One of our alliance partners accidentally selected the wrong Auton, which bumped into both us and the other robot, causing us to score no coral and lose the Auton ranking point. Then, we just didn't have the scoring capability to get the coral ranking point. And finally, one of our hangs didn't count, so we lost the barge RP. This resulted in us getting zero ranking points, and firmly placing us on rank 75. The next qual went a bit better. We got two ranking points, which propelled us all the way to rank 74. Qual 3 was another 2 RP match. Battle was doing well, but we weren't strong enough to overcome our abysmal strength of schedule. Qual 4 was more of the same, another loss with 2 RP. However, Qual 5 was absolutely insane. One important thing to know is that our drivers are absolutely cracked. Sai is an absolutely demon-based driver, and Akil has speed and precision like no other. This combined resulted in this performance. However, it wasn't enough. Our alliance scored 224 points, one of the highest losing scores, but the other alliance was simply stronger. We ended the first day pretty down. We were putting up good performance, but it wasn't giving us the results we were hoping for. The next day gave us significantly more hope. We had matches with both Bread and the Cheesy Poofs, which were almost surefire wins. However, something bad happened. While we were on the practice field, the intake got rammed into the reef by some deranged driver. This sheared several teeth off the drive gear of the 4-bar right before our match with Bread. Thankfully, me and the other amazing pit members stressfully swapped out the gear just in time, making us ready for our match. Even though we were with Bread, this match was still a hard-fought victory. We did a whopping 17 cycles of coral, helping to secure the coral RP and win the match by 19 points. This propelled us all the way to rank 64! The next match was another upsetting one, though. We missed the Coral RP by two game pieces, and our alliance partner dropped during Hang, so we lost that RP too. Once again, our schedule was just brutal, and we dropped back down to rank 71. However, the next match finally gave us some real triumph. Statbotics gave us a 34% chance of winning the match, but we won it by 13 points. We didn't have our best performance that match, but it proved that we could beat the evil Statbotics, and it certainly boosted the team morale. At around the same time we won this match, Something interesting happened, though. Robonauts, the top-ranked team who we're also best friends with, lost a match. Not only that, but they lost a match with only one RP, due to some issues with their alliance partner's robot. 
This made their average RP tied with bread, but due to the cooperation tiebreaker, they ended up rank 2. This will be very important later. Anyways, with only two matches left, we knew our ranking wasn't going to change much. We just had to keep showing what we were good at. The next match was with the Cheesy Poofs, but it wasn't as easy a win as you might think. The other team was firing on all cylinders, and the only reason that Cheesy Poofs ended up winning was because we hung at the end of the match, as neither of our other robots were able to get off the ground. We hoped that this would curry some favor with Alliance selections, but it remained to be seen. The final match was disheartening. At the very start of the match, our energy chain got stuck inside the lift. This lost us a significant amount of time, as we had to manually raise the lift and lower it to get it unstuck. We went as fast as we could for the rest of the match, but we ended up losing by two points. This final match cemented our ranking at 57, setting us far off from any potential alliance selections. However, the day wasn't over yet. Bread was checking up on our pit a lot in the evening, as we were doing some routine maintenance, asking things like, are y'all gonna be ready for tomorrow? This gave us some unhealthy excitement. What if we make it to the top alliance? What if we go to Einstein? Our team was fairly accustomed to getting passed over for alliance selections, but right then, we had some significant hope. The next day came and we were pumped. We anxiously waited through the alliance selections. Bread chose Cheesy Poofs, Robonauts chose Petty Robotics, all of the first picks were selected, then almost all of the second picks. We didn't know what to think, but just then... Team 118 and 5895 would like to, uh, would like to invite 324. 324. That's Chips from Clear Creek. On behalf of Team 324, we would love to chip into your alliance. It was incredibly surreal. Our sister team, and one of the best teams in the world, chose us to be on their alliance. It would be our second time with them that season, and we absolutely knew we couldn't let them down. Now, you may wonder why the top team in our division would choose rank 57 to be their third member. Well, it all comes down to what each member is good at scoring. Both Robonauts and Petty are amazingly efficient at L2, L3, and L4, along with Barge Algae. However, they kinda suck at scoring L1. Battle, however, well, Battle is the L1 Demon. We were so good at L1, in fact, that we were assigned to only score in the trough the entire round. This combination of robots made us the perfect alliance to face off against the Cheesy Bread Alliance, who didn't have an L1 demon. After we got chosen, we got to combine our pits together into the Mega, the mega pit, pit, and we began preparing for the Division Semifinals. The three semifinal matches we played were hard fought, but we came out on top. Petty and Robonauts were scoring tons of Coral and Algae, meanwhile we were pumping out as many L1s as we could. During that, we were continually outputting higher scores than Bread and the Poofs. We started to think that we might actually have a shot of making it to Einstein. We knew by that point that our alliance had the ability to defeat Bread and the Poofs, but we were not prepared for the ridiculous amount of issues that would crop up. Before we went on the field to Finals 1, we ran a full functional, as per usual, and everything ran smoothly. When we got on the field, though, the CAN connection for the entire upper body of the robot had disconnected. This meant that we would be unable to run our lift, climb, or algae. We could only use our base. There wasn't time to fix it before the match began, so we would only be able to play defense during the match. Our alliance tried their best that round, but we weren't able to eke out a win. We simply couldn't compete while missing a good chunk of our scoring. This meant that we would have to win the second final in order to have a chance of advancing. When we got back to the pit, it was a dumpster fire. Electrical was frantically trying to splice together the severed can system, Meanwhile, the entire algae subsystem had partially fallen off the robot. It was truly chaos. Five people's hands were in the robot, and we were going as fast as we could, but we just weren't ready. Eventually we made it, but we got a penalty due to being 30 seconds late. Thankfully though, the upper body had connection. Finals 2 was an absolutely insane match for several reasons, one of which requires a bit of background. Remember earlier when I mentioned how our intake could sometimes intake algae? Well, back at the lab, in between state and worlds, we had developed a processor auton as a way of getting more points than we normally would be able to with a center auton, since center autons can normally only score one coral without interfering with the other sides. We thought that this wouldn't make a significant difference, but it turned out to be the thing that won the competition for us. 
When we scored that algae, the human player didn't notice it. Normally the opposing team's human player can shoot algae into the net to gain 4 points, but they didn't. This effectively resulted in us gaining 2 points over the other team. Other than that, the match was incredibly close. We missed several pieces, but we still managed to put out a fair amount of L1s. The scariest part came at the very end though. We thought we had won since all three robots had climbed, but at the last second, battle fell down. Watching from the stands, we thought all hope was lost. However, we couldn't have expected what happened next. We have our Einstein nominee, or will we need a rubber match? By one point, it was decided. That we need a tiebreaker. Two sixty-two to two sixty-one. We had won the second final, but we weren't done yet. Our robot was still in complete disrepair, and yet another major malfunction happened. One of the drive belts for the lift snapped in half. This meant that the motor couldn't fully drive the lift, and we would only be able to score L1. Simply put, battle was on its last leg. Despite all our issues though, we managed to do some of our best performance yet. We pulled out 18 cycles and got one of the best scores in the entire division. We had done it. After months of continuous iteration, hardships, and insane moments, we had made it to Einstein. Now, in Einstein, we didn't make it far. Petty got a coral stuck in the robot one round, and we generally weren't performing as well as we had been. But honestly, it didn't matter. Going from rank 75 in our division to being part of one of the top alliances in the world was more than enough to make the team happy. After we were eliminated, we got to chill out for a bit and watch finals. On the way back home, we participated in the wonderful Chips Choir. And we also ended up with the Milstein sign. Thanks, Robonauts. <laughs> we certainly learned a lot from our time at Worlds, but rest assured, we're going to be back next year with an even better bot. Before I end this, I would like to give a special thank you to Energy Heroes. Their video about state last year directly inspired this one and made me want to make something like it. It's a very high quality video and you should definitely go watch it. Anyways, uh, see you at Worlds next year. <laughs>